Okay, tonight, we're gonna put this back bumper on for the last time. It's probably been a little bit confusing because you've seen that thing go on and come off several times. And truly, it's just been sitting on there uh, and resting on there with one or two bolts. And uh, we were missing some hardware and a few other items. And tonight, it's going on for the final time. We've only got a few minutes out in the garage here tonight. Nathaniel's finishing up some geometry homework as we speak. When he comes back out, all that stuff right there is gonna go in the car. So let's get started. So, cool. we got two main pieces. Top half, bottom half. We've already got the stainless trim on here. Although, actually, you know what? We're missing a couple speed nuts. Oh, okay. Right across here, so we need to get those. Get those on there. All right. And then, boy, it's been a while. I think. I think the. <laughs> oh, we got to put the thing together as one big piece. That's what it was. Boy, you would think I'd know this after 33 years. I just had to think for a second. Anyway, the, the thing goes together as one big assembly, and then it gets pretty heavy, so the two of us will be lying underneath it, trying to get that whole thing on the car. Here's all the bits and pieces that we were missing. It took us a while to find, so that's why it's just been sitting and resting on the car up until today. bit of bling on the car. <laughs> it's small, but it's something. Check it out. It's got a few dings in it. <laughs> it's all right. Not the first person that's ever happened to. What we got here are two parts that kind of sandwich together. Yeah. As Nathaniel's holding them there. So one of them goes on this half, the other goes on this half of the urethane and pulls those two together. That like. And can you squeeze your hands in there? I'm not sure if I can. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. Pull it back. There's that one. Pull that 40 year old. Well, don't forget your other half, bud. Huh? Your other half of your metal. Oh, yeah. That's, <laughs> you oh, know, well. that thing we just demonstrated? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that one. <laughs> there you go. Sandwich them together, put the speed nuts on there. And that will hold those two together. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah, they are pretty old parts. That's what we did over here. This side's already done. It's kind of hard to see both halves, but you can see it's pretty tight. Can you see how those two halves pulled this urethane together? It's not, I didn't realize it's not quite lined up right there. We might have to fix that, but, but at least that's how it works. You get the idea. Are you trying to put on a new speed nut? No. Yeah. Tell, <laughs> tell me what you just said again. <laughs> I didn't catch it on camera, but he's like, I hate them. I hate speed nuts. I hate them. Yep. So he's trying to put on brand new ones. Why are they called speed nuts? These are not even slightly speedy. <laughs> <laughs> so these are brand new. You can see they're, the inside diameter is not quite wallowed out. It's because they haven't been conformed to the little bolt that they're going on right now. Uh -huh. And Nathaniel is struggling. Like everybody does. It's not just you, bud. These things are a pain when they're brand new. Good to know. So we're using all the old ones up if we can before we run out. 
and I think we have officially run out. Is there any more down here? Nope. nope. That's it. New ones only now. Sorry, bud. <laughs> Come on. Is it? Oh, it won't even start, will it? No. And then you can't. The only way to start it is to really put pressure on there. And for me to put this camera down and help you put pressure on that with four hands. Really? Yep. So, we just figured something out. So, we thought rather than go into a really hard to get space, let's grab one of the other parts we're not using yet. Take a brand new speed nut, wall that thing out on here. So, have at it. And then, it'll be ready to use on our new part. Work a little better? A little bit. Hey, there we go. There, you can, you can just pull it to the grabs, don't you? Yeah. Can't you? Can't. Okay, cool. Now that should be a little easier to start down in that impossible area you're trying to work right now. I see it, I see it. It's on film. <laughs> it's underneath the car. <laughs> oh, the joys. It's always the simple jobs that kill you. All right, the last thing we gotta do is these little side pieces here, these fit in right here. See that little curved piece? I can't, ah, get in there. Can you help me with this, bud? Yeah. I've got myself in the jam here. Anyway, slide those through the holes. Those can uh, stay. <laughs> it's not as easy as it looks. Make it look easy. No, none of this is easy. And then those, once this bumper goes on the car, will slide into these holes on the back of the quarter panel right here. So once it slides in there, I've got to then reach clear underneath the car and put a nut on the back of those. But we're not going to have time for that tonight. So I think what we'll do is we'll just hold this thing up as a whole assembly. Um, I don't even think we're going to mock it up tonight because we're not going to have time, but we've got to get you back home. But it's really, it's all together. It's there and it's ready to go. So the next time we get together, this thing will be on the back of the car. So until then. Hey, welcome back. We're gonna work on the tail end of the car today. It's been sitting here for the last several weeks. I've been gone, just got back last night. I've got Nathaniel with me this afternoon. Hey, and uh, just got him for the afternoon. So this thing's been sitting and ready to go on for a while. All the bolts are there, so we're gonna give it a shot. Wish us luck.
Oh, there she is. You gonna get a picture on your camera too? Yeah. <laughs> hey, this is a picture worthy moment. It's on there for good. Dang, dude, that feels good. Yeah. That feels really good, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> hey, let's close the hatch. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yay. Yeah. Dang. I know we've had that thing on there before, but hey. now that it's on there permanently, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Dang, look at this. Look. <laughs> That's, cool. <laughs> That's cool. I know, I know. Like I said, it's it's been on there before. But it was just hanging off of there, and there was some gaps, and it never looked quite right. And now, knowing that it's on there permanently, and the gaps are great, and gosh, you know the trouble we went through. I mean, all that metal we cut out of the other car and swapped out. Yeah. That was a big deal. I'll be honest, um, even as a dad, I looked at this, you know, and told Nathaniel that we could do it, and I, quite honestly... I don't know what we're in for, and we figured it out, and we did it. Yeah. Yeah, we did. turning on ah, this is not working <laughs> i wonder why you know what and i don't even know if i was filming that whole time because i just look at the red <laughs> button i know right what is it about turning on the camera that just makes me go completely dumb hey we're back and we're gonna work on the tail shaft today we're gonna work on the what 